Hi everyone and thanks once again for tuning in to Smash Factor TV. My name's Natalie Adams. Today we're going to have a look at how to get you exiting to the left as you go through your golf shot and we're going to have a look at what that exactly means. It's quite a buzz phrase at the moment in the golf world. So uh, easiest way to have a look at uh, this is if you think of the target line, so I'll just put the shaft of the golf club on the floor there and we're trying to hit the ball straight down uh, that target line. So if you're someone who needs to exit left more, basically as your club is swinging in, it's swinging in too much from the inside, from this side of the golf club, and it's going out to the far side of the golf club too much. So it's moving diagonally too much across the target line. And that means the club, when you look at the target from this view, the club is going to the right of the target too much once you've hit the ball. To get the club exiting over to the left, the club needs to be moving more down towards the target as it hits, and then it needs to be going to the left of that as you swing through. And that would involve you turning your body back better uh, in order to make that better movement through impact. So what we need to do is we need to stop the club from coming in so much from the inside and traveling so much to the outside of the target line. One of the easiest ways to do that if you just upturn your range basket, just put it on the far side of the target line. So I've done that and I've left half an inch gap from the far side of the ball to that basket. Now to start with, if you do that and you find that you're hitting that basket all the time, just give yourself a little bit more room. But you don't, ultimately you want to get into that position there where the, you're gonna hit the ball and as the club goes through, it's only going down the target line and then to the left of the target. So it's swinging back onto the inside of the target line. That's gonna help you hit much straighter golf shots doing that if you are someone who hits a block out to the right because again the club if we look at the club traveling in the club will be traveling in too much like this into that basket so with the club face pointing in that direction you'll just hit the ball straight to the right or if you're turning the club face inwards trying to correct that movement that would close the face and then you get the ball swinging over to the left too much so either of those shots this is going to be uh, something that helps you hit much straighter golf shots so swinging it to the top and then you're going to swing through and get the club head traveling to the left of that basket keeping the face aiming at the target as you do that So you'll hit a nice straight golf shot doing that. But it's a great drill to work on uh, to help you start to hit a lot straighter. As I said, eventually you want to work on getting that basket no more than say half an inch from the outside of the ball to the edge of the basket. Basically the width from the middle of the club to the outside of the toe. But if you're struggling with that to start with, just give yourself a bit more room, just move that out a little bit more. And you wanna place the basket maybe about a foot uh, to the left of uh, the golf ball. That would be the right position for it. Have a go at doing that uh, without the ball to start with. Once you've got used to it, introduce the ball. Just keep it there while you're having your practice session uh, for the majority of the session. Maybe just hit the last, uh, 10, five balls without it, so that you know that the majority of the shots you've hit, you've hit correctly. It's a game-changing golf tip.